Zero. This is Dot Zero. I like to go through metal miniatures and uh, just reminisce a little bit. Today I thought I would specifically go through, uh, how about hobgoblins and gnolls. How about let's start with our hobgoblins. I always thought these were a lot of fun to use, especially um, when I was dungeon mastering for my kids. Uh, they're just, you know, they're just fun characters. Uh, you know, with all their vicious looking teeth and and their animations, I had a lot of fun with these. I mean, look how cool this big old bow that this guy's got here. Axe coming across the side here with a dagger in front. Reaching back to pull an arrow out of his quiver. What do we got on the back? So these are definitely a little older. Oh, here's his quiver and then another sword coming across the back pouch. Who makes these again? You know, I'm not sure who makes these. These are definitely the older... Uh, you know, lead pieces. And um, how about we move on to the next one here? <clears throat> Hobgoblins again. This is now you're seeing a little bit of a clear coat on here. I've been doing my best to try to preserve all my miniatures because they were starting to fall apart. But again, these vicious teeth across here. Hand reaching up on a shield. He's got an axe. Older, right? Look how there's just you know more metal being used here to make it all work, but. I love these pieces. These are some of my favorite. I'll bet I had these or bought these or got was given them. I don't know when. Probably 12, 13 years old, something like that. So probably around 1981 to 82, 83 if I had to guess. Anyway, we've got a sword across the back here. How about, let's see, is this the same thing? I think this is the same piece, right? So we'll skip over it real quick. How about and move on to... How about this guy with the uh, with the sword out in his hand? Do I have two of those? No, I just have one of these. So same kind of shield, I think, that we've been seeing, right? Yeah, same kind of shield. Uh, again, I love their big, vicious mouths. <clears throat> like they're, like I said, almost like cannibals. Sword across the side here, all muscled up and. Um, uh, there was many a times where I had like characters like kick a door open and their foot gets stuck in the door and one of these guys is on the other side grabbing onto it or that kind of thing. So much fun to use. Pouches here, got an axe. Yeah. Okay, actually I think I <clears throat> have another one of these. So let's just leave it here while I'm moving on. And actually I always use this other guy here now as my leader with this spear. I don't know why he's just always come across as being the uh, the leader. What's got like a tassel here? I think that's a tassel thing coming off his spear here. And um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like he's always just been like the chieftain or whatever you want to call it. We got a little short sword down the side. I'm gonna let my camera zoom in. Now here you're clearly seeing my clear coat. Unfortunately, it turned that amber color. And maybe someday I'll try to strip that off and. I do something else. Okay, let's move on to my older knolls. Um, I prefer this design of knoll over the uh, the more current ones. I was looking on the back. I still don't see any marks on who makes all of these. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing. So this one, I actually added this big axe head on here. Uh, it was something similar that was on here before, but I can tell this is a different metal. What we got here, it looks like a short sword down the side. Flip it over, what do we got, a dragon on his shield here? That's pretty cool. Okay, and then I've got two here that are the same same style. I guess we could do them at the same time. Again, older knolls, and I'll show you the difference here shortly of how big of a difference they are uh, with a newer <coughs> style. Okay, so. Uh, big helmets on here. You know, there was a lot for the longest time. I thought this was like a cyclopean kind of eye right here, but it's not. See, their eyes are back here. See, and then you're seeing teeth coming up right here. Yeah. Obviously, like a little pole arm here. Older pieces. I mean, obviously, because, uh, you know, even the, the shields are thicker, the, the weapons are thicker and duller. You know what I mean? So... That's just a, kind of one of the ways you can just tell if it's older metal and that kind of thing. 
and and obviously too the the spears right here see how it's really thick and strong that d definitely indicates it's an older piece okay so we've seen um, these kind of knolls then I'll move on to the newer style I think these are all gonna be Raul Parthas but quite a lot of difference here in fact how about I'll, I'll get this out of the way and we'll go back to to this one but just to give you a comparison they are quite a bit different for creatures that are supposed to be the same I mean look how thick his head is I mean this almost looks like you know the uh, the bad guys from like uh, um, what am I thinking of uh, Oh, jeez. Like Gears of War almost, like the bad guys on there is what it kind of reminds me of. Okay. <clears throat> Newer style here. Again, Ral Partha, right? No, TSR. Yeah, Ral Partha. Spear across the front. Now, look at this distinct face. It's so much different. And really, it is true to the idea of what a knoll should look like. But I actually prefer the older pieces. I always prefer the old ones when you really get down to it. We got here, like, is that a clasp or something? I'm not sure. Let's flip this over real quick. Just armor on his back. How about another one here? <clears throat> kind of a primitive. Oh, looks like that's a axe. It's about to fall right out of his hand. Barely, barely in there. Let me see if I can set this down and let my camera zoom in on it. I best be careful. He's got a really cool shield, actually, but you can see that that thing's just barely in his hand. And we've got like some kind of scale mail thing going on here. Really cool shield, actually. Hand axe. Okay, how about another one of these? Looks like I'm missing a weapon on this one, so I need to add one on to him. At some point here. Shield. Yeah, he's. It looks like there was some glue. I had something in there, but don't have anything there currently, obviously. <coughs> Lots of detail on his face. Almost looks like a werewolf or something, huh? Sword on his back. What do we got? That's just a bunch of hide, I guess. Yeah, all right. Same thing kind of here. Definitely got a lot of teeth, a big mouth, growling at us. Almost kind of, you know almost like an ape kind of look too but it's not quite hmm. such a different design you know what I mean from those old ones all right have another one here same thing right is this actually I don't know if this is a knoll or not now let's take a close look I think this is a knoll who is this? This is still Ral Partha. Yeah, it's kind of got a different look. I'm not sure if this is a knoll now or not. It probably is. Obviously a little bit of a different style. Now this is back to definitely a knoll axe. What do we got for a shield here? This thing looks really cool. What do we got going on here? Look at that. So it's a face. See if I can get it close up to my camera here and let it zoom in if it will. It's got a tongue sticking out, mouth here. It's almost like something out of the Necronomicon or something, right? From a, um, whatever these, with Ash, right? What am I thinking of? <clears throat> Army of Darkness, right? I guess that's what I'm thinking of. It's got a cool uh, armor on the back here as well. And I only have two more for you, and then we'll call it good with this video. It was meant to be short and sweet. Just go through some gnolls and hobgoblins. We got a, uh, got a flail going on. Definitely more of the teeth. Like I said, almost seems like a, like a werewolf kind of look, but it's obviously a gnoll. So we're a little shield or dagger, I'm sorry, across the back. And how about our last one? And maybe I've got some things mix and match. This almost, see, that almost looks like a, almost like more like a rat kind of face. Remember, that's how I had on this last one. You know, are these knolls or are they something else? I'm not really sure now. Hmm. Huh. Well, I think it's a knoll. Maybe it's something else. Oh well, my whole point was just to show you lots of different miniatures and uh, 
this is just a good way to get them all in and uh, how about this we'll go back to this style and uh, oh, how about since he's the leader we'll put this hobgoblin in and we'll end our video with that so there you have it some uh, knolls and hobgoblins uh, hobgoblins always my favorite to use and um, thanks for reminiscing with me and be safe until next time